I'm Ron Barnell, and this is September Song, episode 72. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, or whatever it is you use. I'm not going to get into that scrap. On a frosty evening in late December, my brothers and sisters and I were all huddled around the living room couch as we heard those wonderful words. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I don't remember the English guy, but I do remember my mother reading The Night Before Christmas. There was eggnog and fruitcake and ambrosia and something my dad drank that made him walk funny, but even that couldn't displace the excitement and anticipation of those words on Christmas Eve. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. As the years passed and my brothers and sisters and I grew older, I still hold those times dear. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. Mom, Dad, a brother and a sister are gone now. It seems to make me want to hold onto those times a bit tighter and focus a bit finer. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. As I thought about those times this Christmas Eve, I could still hear those words, and wondered how many children had thrilled to them over the many years since they were first read. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all! The poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, or The Night Before Christmas, was first published in 1823 by a professor of Oriental and Greek literature named Clement Clark Moore who was born in New York City in 1779. The poem was first published anonymously, and it was not until 1837 in the New York Book of Poetry that the poem was first attributed to Moore. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a Hedler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. 
A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Scholars have debated whether Moore was the author of this poem. Some believe that Major Henry Livingston Jr. should be considered the author. Many scholars simply say it doesn't matter who wrote The Night Before Christmas. I agree, the words belong to everyone who ever listened to it on a snowy Christmas Eve. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.